Hey there, Heritage High School staff. I uh, had a couple uh, questions. Um, actually, I had several people ask me the same question a um, couple over the weekend and one today uh, regarding our PD from last Wednesday regarding the game of Kahoot and how to record some of the scores so that you can gain access to how the students fared and more importantly, which ones were at least participating. And um, so we had a question. Thanks, Bauer, for uh, for getting me to actually go through with this because you were like the third or fourth person to ask that question. So I've decided to put together a little screencast here, show you exactly what it looks like and um, and, and how to get that all set up. Now, first of all, I, I should take a step back. The setup part of it, I can't help you with perfectly because the computer will walk you through that and I've already kind of set it up with my own. But I could show you what buttons to get to so that you can save it to uh, to your Google Docs so that you can have sort of a printout or a, or a readout in Google Sheets of what students answered, what questions correctly, who the highest ranking ones, and and so that you can have that for your records and you can use it for scoring as well. So here it is. Um, I did the last question. I just logged myself in and played the game real quick. And then I go to next and then I hit end. And then I go to feedback and results, which is right here. And what I do is I go to final results at this point. And there it is. And so uh, right here it says new game. Now that's what a lot of people see. They're like, that's the only thing I have. If you go down to save results right here, there should be, unless there's an error and we need to set something else up, there should be a little black box. And you click on that and you have a couple choices. You could either download it, as several, and there are several different ways you could download it. But the one I always choose is save to drive. And since I use Chrome, it's already logged in. I'm already logged in as uh, as mtmore at stcs.org, so it knows who I am. And if you're using Chrome on your machine, it'll do the same thing. Um, I haven't gotten it to work perfectly on Internet Explorer yet. Maybe it's the version I'm using. I know that Safari works just as well, too, but it definitely works in Chrome. So I click on Save to Drive. I click Save again. It knows me. It sees that I'm signed in. So you'll have to be signed in on Chrome as you know for your work email. And then you click Save. A little thing pops up over here. Then you click save again. And then you'll see it doing its little Google thinking thing. And boom, there it is. And then it's immediately saved to your drive. Pretty straightforward. Um, hopefully that helps out a little bit. Um, if you guys still have further questions on that, feel free to give me a call. Email me or let me know. If I have to make house calls, that's fine too. And uh, hopefully you guys are having a great start to the next week. We'll see you later. Ciao y adios.